Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today I'm doing a tutorial showing you how to um, reload your saved Minecraft world using an older backup. So replacing your current save with an older save uh, in the game. Uh, this will be for the Curse Forge launcher specifically, uh, but it works the same for most. Uh, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like and then uh, hit subscribe on the channel so you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. All right, so first things first, we're going to pop open our Curse Forge launcher. Okay, here we got this here. Curse Forge, these are going to be all the different mod packs you have downloaded. So let's say you were playing Sky Factory 4, for example, and you were doing something in the world and you deleted or destroyed something you really did not want to lose. Or maybe you did something that's caused a glitch or an error. The file has become corrupted and you're no longer able to play that game or even load it up. You get kicked every time you try to come in. Great example of that is if you make a monster spawner and you crank it up to maximum on everything and it starts spawning monsters so fast that your game can't handle it and you just get kicked out every time you load in. You don't want to lose your whole save, so you want to go back in time before you did that. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on not the play button, but the actual picture of the mod pack you're going to open. We'll use Sky Factory 4 here. Then you're going to go over here and on these three little dots, click on that and you're going to click open folder. This is going to open up the folder in your computer where your Sky Factory 4 or your Minecraft saves are stored. There's the direction if you ever wanted to manually find it, you could do it the same way. So this is everything for Sky Factory 4 in my computer. <clears throat> so down here we have saves. If we click on saves, these are all the current worlds that I have in Sky Factory 4. So when I load up my game, it lets me pick one of these to play. So let's say I'm using my tutorial world, and that's the one that I've messed up. Right? Click on that. This is the information for my tutorial world. Something in here is bad. So I want to go to a backup. Go back to that first screen where it says Sky Factory 4. Instead of clicking Saves, we're going to click on Backups. Now, this is going to be all those same worlds and potentially even some older worlds that still may be saved on here. I'm looking for Tutorial World. I'm going to double click on that and it's going to show me all the saved backups currently on my computer. As you can see, uh, today is October the 24th, 2022, at the time of filming this. So here's some from earlier today. And for me, it's going all the way back to August the 21st. I have a lot of options on how far I want to go back. So let's say I made a mistake today, and I know I made it just five minutes ago. I shut the game off really quick. I want to go back in time to, say, 9.03 p.m. on the 20th. Maybe I don't like anything that I did today. I'm like, oop, I got to go back and fix this. You're going to open yourself up a new folder, your computer, and you can name it anything or just leave it as default. It doesn't matter. You're going to open that up, okay? You're going to... Go over and pick the save you want. And this one we're using that one from 1020. Double click on it. And this is showing me everything from that save. We're going to highlight everything. You can drag and drop it, or you could copy and paste, whichever you prefer. But we're going to go ahead and move that into that other folder. There's everything from the save on 1020, 19, or 20, 2022. Uh, that's exactly what that was. Okay. So that's that one. So now we're going to go back. Sky Factory 4 again, and we're going to go back to that first one we clicked on Saves. We're going to go ahead and open up Tutorial World again. This is my current save. This is the one from back on the 20th. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete everything in my regular Tutorial World folder. I'm not going to do that because I want to hang on to it, but you would just delete this and clear out this folder. Then over on the backup we have, we're just going to, again, either drag and drop or copy and paste everything from that spare folder into the save folder for that world. So delete everything here first, and then move everything from your backup folder into that. Now, do not be surprised if sometimes your backup folder has less files than your current save. Okay, That's not a very common concern. Uh, we're going to give an example here. So we're going to look at this here. See where it says Aroma 1997. I don't have that folder in my backup. I also don't have one for Ender Storage. But if I click on either of these in my original save, you're going to find those are blank. You find a file here that's not over here. It's almost always blank. And what that's done is when I loaded up the world, it created a folder to put information in if I was to use Ender Storage. Not using Ender Storage. So there's nothing saved there. On the backup, it didn't bother saving that file because there was no information in it worth saving. But if I move this over, delete the original, move my backup in and start up a game, it's just going to create another Ender Storage folder empty until there's something worth putting in there. 
Do not be worried if this has less files than this over here. Once you've deleted the original and put your backup in there, you're then safe to go ahead and open up the game. Click play here, back and click play here. And what that's going to do then is reload your Sky Factory. But in that save, for me, the tutorial world, it's going to load up the game as it was back on the 20th during that backup save. So if you've had a problem with your game, it's been corrupted, you're worried, you don't want to lose it, put a lot of time and effort into it, this is a great way to move backwards in time, get an older backup, so you only lose a little bit of the work you did, but hopefully lose the problem that's causing the backup itself. All right? Uh, well, that's going to do it for this one. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please be sure to put that down in the comments, and I will do my best to get back with you as quickly as I can, as well as if you have any recommendations, suggestions for other tutorials you'd like to see, Always looking for new ideas, throw those down there as well. But thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.